Hello everybody! Let's explore the frosty world of mythical creatures, where legends from the coldest corners of the earth come alive, embodying the mystery and majesty of winter. Mahaha The Mahaha is a sinister and deceptive creature from Inuit mythology, known for its gruesome way of killing. Residing in the icy expanses of the Arctic, it is depicted as a thin, gaunt figure with a wild appearance, characterised by its long hair and elongated, sharp fingernails. It's infamous for its unsettling smile and the eerie laughter it emits while tickling its victims to death. This creature's legend serves as a stark reminder of the harsh and unforgiving nature of the Arctic. It also symbolises the unexpected dangers that can be masked by a seemingly harmless facade, teaching the importance of caution and awareness in treacherous environments. Nanaluk the Nanaluk, a colossal and terrifying polar bear from Inuit mythology, stands as a symbol of the formidable and untamed nature of the Arctic. This giant polar bear, far exceeding the size of any known bears, is said to inhabit the isolated and frigid Arctic waters. It's depicted as an unstoppable force of nature, capable of crushing ice and rocks with ease. The legend of the Nanaluk highlights the immense power and unpredictability of the natural world. It serves as a metaphor for the overwhelming challenges one might face in life, reminding the Inuit people of the respect and caution needed to coexist with such formidable natural forces. Wendigo The Wendigo is a creature born from the darkest corners of Algonquian Native American folklore. It's often associated with the harsh, unforgiving winters of the Great Lakes region and the Atlantic coast. Described as a towering skeletal figure, with an insatiable hunger for human flesh, the Wendigo is said to be created whenever a human resorts to cannibalism. In some stories it is described with antlers like a deer and hooves. It smells of rotting flesh and is usually first detected by humans by its horrible odour. The screams of the Wendigo can be heard from tens of miles away in the chilling nights deep in the forest. This terrifying creature symbolises the taboo of cannibalism and the consequences of indulging in forbidden acts. The Wendigo myth serves multiple purposes. It's a cautionary tale against the dangers of greed and excess, a representation of the destructive nature of selfishness, and a personification of the harshness of winter and starvation. Amarok In the vast and desolate landscapes of the Arctic, the Amarok stands as a fearsome giant wolf in Inuit mythology. This solitary predator, much larger and more powerful than any normal wolf, is said to roam the Arctic nights. The Amarok is depicted as a cunning and formidable hunter, preying on those who dare to venture alone into the wilderness. Its legend emphasises the dangers that lurk in the vast and remote regions of the Arctic. The Amarok serves as a symbol of the perils of isolation and the importance of community and cooperation in such a harsh environment. It also represents the balance of nature, where every creature plays a role in the ecosystem. Yuki Ona the Yuki Onna, or Snow Woman, is a captivating and mysterious figure in Japanese folklore. Associated with snow and winter, she is often described as breathtakingly beautiful, with long flowing hair and kimono as white as snow, blending seamlessly into the winter landscape. However, this ethereal beauty belies a dangerous and sometimes malevolent nature. She is known to appear during snowstorms and lead travellers astray, or freeze them with her cold, icy breath. The Yuki Onna embodies the dual nature of winter in Japan, the awe-inspiring beauty and the deadly danger. Her legend is a reminder of the respect that must be accorded to the natural world and the fine line between life and death in the harsh winter. Tupilak The Tupilak is a unique and chilling concept in Inuit mythology, encompassing the fears and dark aspects of shamanistic practices. These creatures are not naturally occurring, but are instead formed through a complex ritual involving the assembly of various animal parts and even parts from children. Once created, a shaman would imbue the Tupilak with malevolent intent through magical means, sending it to sea to seek out and destroy a specific enemy. The legend of the Tupilak reflects deep-rooted beliefs in magic and the supernatural within Inuit culture. It symbolises the darker side of these beliefs, where malevolent forces can be harnessed to bring harm to others and serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of misusing such powers. Kura Akami 
Kuro Akami, a dragon-like deity in Japanese mythology, is a powerful embodiment of water and weather. Revered as a god of rain and snow, Kuro Akami resides in the lofty realms of mountains and clouds. This majestic creature is often depicted as a dragon with the ability to control snowfall and rainfall, crucial elements for agriculture in Japan. Its origins are deeply rooted in Shinto beliefs, emphasizing the interconnectedness of nature, deities, and human life. Kuro Akami's role extends beyond that of a mere weather deity. It is seen as a guardian of the natural balance and a symbol of the respect and reverence accorded to the natural forces that sustain life. The legend of Kuro Akami also reflects the cultural importance of water in Japanese society, symbolizing purity, renewal, and the life-giving qualities of nature. Kikirin in the vast and eerie landscapes of the Arctic, the Kikirin emerges as a bizarre and frightening figure in Inuit mythology. This creature resembles a large, hairless dog, save for tufts of hair on its feet, ears, mouth and tail. It's said to induce intense fear and panic in those who encounter it. The Kikirin's strange appearance and the fear it instills reflect the Inuit's understanding of the psychological effects of isolation and vast open spaces. The legend of the Kikirin is a representation of the unseen fears and anxieties that can overwhelm individuals in such environments. It symbolises the internal struggles and mental challenges faced by people living in extreme conditions, serving as a metaphor for the fears that can haunt us without any physical form. Ikuteuk The Ikuteuk, a lesser known but fascinating creature from Inuit mythology, is believed to inhabit the icy waters of the Arctic. Described as a large, sea-dwelling creature, it is said to have the power to influence the weather, capable of summoning storms and controlling sea currents. The Ikuteuk is often depicted as a guardian of the sea, protecting its inhabitants and maintaining the balance of the marine ecosystem. Its legend underscores the Inuit's deep connection with and respect for the ocean, highlighting the importance of harmony between humans and the natural world. The Ikuteuk also serves as a reminder of the unpredictable and sometimes dangerous nature of the sea, embodying the awe and fear that the vast and mysterious ocean inspires. Barbagazi The Barbagazi is a charming and whimsical creature from Alpine folklore, particularly in Switzerland and France. These creatures are described as dwarf-like beings with large feet, perfect for skiing through the snow. They are said to reside in the high mountains, emerging only during the deep snows of winter. The Barbagazi are known to be helpful to humans, often warning mountain dwellers of avalanches or guiding lost travellers to safety. Their legend reflects the Alpine culture's close relationship with and respect for the mountains. The Barbagazi symbolise the joy and playfulness of winter sports, as well as the protective spirit of the mountains, reminding people of the beauty and dangers of the Alpine landscape. Tizaruk the Tizaruk, a creature from Inuit and Aleut mythology, is a mysterious sea serpent said to inhabit the cold waters of the Arctic and the Bering Sea. Described as a long, serpentine creature with a flipper near its tail, it is reputed to snatch unwary individuals from piers and boats. The Tizaruk is often depicted as an elusive and enigmatic creature, embodying the unknown and unpredictable nature of the sea. Its legend serves to caution people about the dangers lurking beneath the water's surface and to respect the vast and mysterious marine world. Aklut In Inuit mythology, the Aklut stands as a remarkable and terrifying creature, part wolf and part orca. It is said to inhabit the coastal waters of the Arctic, capable of moving seamlessly between land and sea. The Aklut is often depicted as a formidable predator, embodying the dual nature of the Arctic environment, both terrestrial and marine. Its legend reflects the Inuit people's deep understanding of the interconnectedness of all forms of life in the Arctic. The Aklut symbolises the adaptability and resilience required to survive in such a harsh and unforgiving landscape. Jotna The Jotna, giants from Norse mythology, are formidable beings living in Jotunheim, a realm distinct from the worlds of gods and humans. In many tales, the Jotna are associated with snowy landscapes, glaciers and the harsher aspects of the natural world, often found dwelling in these frigid and remote areas. These giants are often depicted as having immense strength and a deep connection to nature, 
embodying the raw and untamed forces of the Earth. The Jotna play a complex role in Norse myths, sometimes antagonists to the gods, other times intermingling and even intermarrying with them. Their legends speak to the Norse understanding of the world as a place of conflict and harmony between elemental forces, with the Jotna representing the chaotic and unpredictable side of nature. Ningen The Ningen, a mysterious cryptid from Japanese folklore, is said to inhabit the icy waters of the Antarctic. Described as a large, human-like sea creature, it has been a subject of fascination and speculation. The Ningen is often depicted as having a pale, almost albino appearance, with features resembling those of a human. Its legend likely stems from the sightings of unknown marine animals, fueling speculation about undiscovered species in the vast, unexplored oceans. The Ningen captures the human imagination's fascination with the unknown, and the mysteries that the deep sea holds. Kalupalik The Kalupalik, from Inuit mythology, is a chilling creature said to inhabit the sea. Described as human-like but with green skin and long hair, the Kalupalik is known for its haunting, humming sound. This creature is said to snatch away children who wander too close to the shoreline. The Kalupalik's legend serves as a cautionary tale to young children, teaching them to stay away from dangerous waters and to obey their elders. It embodies the Inuit's respect and fear of the sea, emphasising the importance of understanding and respecting the natural dangers present in their environment. Ijirak In the rich tapestry of Inuit mythology, the Ijirak holds a special place as a shape-shifting creature. Found in the shadowy realms of the Arctic, it is known for its ability to camouflage itself, often causing disorientation and leading travellers astray. The Ijirak is depicted as elusive and deceptive, capable of taking various forms, sometimes even impersonating family members to deceive its victims. Its legend is a reminder of the dangers of the Arctic, not just in the form of physical threats, but also the psychological challenges posed by the vast and often disorienting landscape. The Ijirak symbolises the importance of staying vigilant and the challenges of distinguishing reality from illusion in extreme conditions. Yeti The Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman, is a legendary creature from Himalayan folklore. It is said to inhabit the remote and rugged mountainous regions of Nepal and Tibet. Described as a large bipedal creature covered in thick fur, the Yeti is often depicted as elusive and shy. While its existence remains a topic of debate, it has captured the imagination of explorers and locals alike. The legend of the Yeti speaks to the mysteries hidden in the unexplored corners of the Himalayas, representing the untamed and unknown aspects of nature. It also reflects the local culture's reverence for their natural surroundings and the mysteries they hold. Chenu Emerging from Native American folklore, specifically among the tribes of the Northeast, the Chenu is a fearsome creature. Initially a human, the Chenu becomes a monstrous being due to a curse or as a result of resorting to cannibalism. It is often described as a giant with a heart of ice, insatiable hunger and tremendous strength. The Chenu's story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of giving in to base desires and losing one's humanity. It serves as a moral lesson against the perils of greed, gluttony and the loss of social and moral restraints. Kivitok The Kivitok, a figure from Inuit folklore, is said to be an evil person who has chosen to live in solitary exile. These individuals, often hunters or shamans, are believed to gain supernatural powers. However, due to their isolation, they may become half-crazed and might attack people if given the chance. The Kivatok is often depicted wandering the mountains and fjords, shrouded in mystery and supernatural aura. The legend of the Kivatok speaks to the deep respect and fear of the wild and remote areas in Inuit culture. It also reflects the value placed on community and the dangers of isolation, both physical and psychological. Draugr In Norse mythology, the Draugr is an undead creature, often associated with the cold, dark places like grave mounds where they are said to reside. Described as possessing superhuman strength and the ability to increase their size at will, Draugrs are depicted as fearsome guardians of their tombs, attacking anyone who dared to trespass. 
They are also believed to possess some level of intelligence and magical abilities. The Draugr's legend serves as a caution against greed and disrespect for the dead. It also reflects the Norse belief in the afterlife and the importance of proper burial rituals. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the icy realms of mythical creatures. If you found these stories as intriguing as the winter wind, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating tales from around the world. Stay warm and keep exploring the wonders of our planet's folklore. Until next time, farewell. Yours truly, Mythos, the Historian. <laughs>